a lot of experimenting with the NS2 in order to try to get it to do what I want it to do as far as a noise suppressor. But in all that experimentation, I found that it was capable of doing some other things. And one of those things that I want to share with you today is the square wave tremolo. square wave tremolo. It's a one chip. It's based on one chip. Actually, this is the one. That one, that one didn't work. This one did. It's a one chip uh, circuit. You do have a couple of transistors to go with it. It's based around the 555 timer. You will have to drill one hole for the 500k speed control pot. And unless you want to dedicate the NS2 pedal to Strictly tremolo, square wave tremolo, uh, you'll need to drill another hole for a toggle switch so that you can switch it in and out of conventional and tremolo modes. I built my trem circuit on a piece of perf board cut to about the size of a 9 volt battery. All the parts I used I got from one supplier and I'll leave all that information in the description box. When you build the board you're going to want to flatten the components down like I did because Space in the NS2 is at a premium, believe me. You should have three pairs of wires sticking out from the board following my color code, which I strongly recommend. Mine has a blue and a white with blue wire that connects to the Tremolo Speed Control Pot. You can wire yours just like this one. I have a green and orange wire coming out of the right side that will ultimately get soldered to the NS2 circuit board. You'll be able to see here that they connect underneath one of the power sockets. You have to pay attention to the polarity though because it's very important. The last two wires will call for a little tinkering. I needed to locate capacitor C15. It's on the middle front of the NS2 board. Here's a close up. I unsoldered the negative lead of C15 and pulled it out of the board so that it was sticking up in the air. Now I soldered the green with white wire to the negative lead of C15 and a white wire to the PC board where the negative lead of C15 used to be. I found out that I need to make each pair of these wires at least 8 inches long. Don't connect these wires up just yet and I will tell you why. I don't know if any of you have ever tried to put a homebrew PC board into a very busy NS2, but take it from me, it's harder than doing hemorrhoid surgery on a rabid raccoon. So I came up with an auxiliary plan. Since I don't use the 9 volt battery, I opened up the pedal I cut the red and black wires from the 9 volt connector and pulled them out. And carefully routed all six of my trem board wires into the hole which is now vacant. Gently pull them through from the other side, leaving about two inches of slack on the top where the trim board is. I neatly dressed the wires to fit snugly. Then slipped a piece of one inch heat shrink over the circuit board. Don't shrink it just yet though. I would hook everything up and test it first. This is what it should look like and sound like when it's all complete. 